Hi everyone, it's Anna again here at Migrant Doctor Mom. And here at Migrant Doctor Mom, we talk about everything from migrating, working as um, a migrant worker, living, adjusting to a new country, and uh, anything in between, finding a job, and everything that has to do with migrating from your home country to your new country. And we just use our experiences and experiences of people to try and uh, show you that you can actually make it uh, you can make it in your new country, you can be the professional that you want to be, you can be the mom that you want to be, and you can even be a friend that you want to be to those around you. So my name is Anna and I'm so glad that you're here today because today on set I have someone that you cannot afford to miss to listen to. Um, this someone is a special person to me and my family is a good friend, uh, he's a brother actually, and he is a family man. He is somebody that has, um, I would say in my own opinion, has made it living and working abroad. He is a community leader of the biggest organization representing the people that come from Kenya. And I am so glad to have on set Mr. Vincent Lusite Kanyangi. Oh, thank you, mm. Anna, for such a lovely introduction. Mm. Um, I don't have much to say about myself because she, you have already said it. And um, yeah, my name is Vincent Lusite Kanyangi and I'm the KCW president. I am married to one wife and I'm blessed. Mm -hmm. We are blessed with three kids. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we just love serving people and uh, serving the community. And uh, so we are here to talk about the community. And true enough, this one is a servant, a humble steward. And we have seen him do lovely things in the community. And allow me to say, uh, since he came into this position of the president of KCWA, we've seen a lot of changes. We've seen the community in KCWA grow in numbers that we couldn't even be accommodated on a WhatsApp. And now we have, what do we call that program? Uh, uh, Telegram. Telegram. Now we are on Telegram. We get frequent updates on Telegram to know what's happening in the community. But in addition to that, I must say, um, he has improved all the communication avenues. Now we are hearing about KCWA. We, we know what's happening in the community. We know what is being planned way in advance. And I must give you a thumbs up for that, uh, Mr. President. Allow me to just dig into the depths of the matters today. I know there are a few things that you want to talk to us about uh, some updates that are happening in the community. And allow me to give you the floor. Thank you, Anna. Uh, first, I just want to, to um, say that we've been uh, privileged to, to serve the community. And um, like myself and the team that I work with in the KCWA leadership, we came to office in May uh, this year, 2021. And uh, we, we have together, we have managed to to do a few things, uh, we haven't done much. We we were we were hoping that we can do much, but we we haven't that done what we ought to have done. But we we, we have uh, done a few exercises uh, uh, activities. We brought the community together. We've had mm -hmm. sports activities. We've had a picnic, and all the feedback that we're getting is that everyone is happy about it, and they are mm -hmm. asking for more. Mm -hmm. And um, and as you mentioned, uh, the communication channels in uh, KCW has, uh, have improved. Mm -hmm. And now we, we have our Facebook revamped. We have our website has been uh, revamped as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Twitter account. We, we have um, I, IG, is it called Instagram. Mm -hmm. So oh, we're trying to reach people all around, uh, all ages. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, that is how we, we intend to bring uh, the information to people uh, to, uh, because that is the, the place we found was lacking in the leadership of KCWA. Mm -hmm. Other thing um, I will talk about is about the membership that you talk about when we came to office was like we had 150 members or about thereabouts 
But now we are happy that it is over 500 uh, uh, membership mm -hmm. and we are still growing. We're just trying to uh, bring the Kenyans together and we are trying to win that trust and confidence in us so that they know that as much as the community is here for you, you should be there for the community as well. And so we're bringing all heads together and we are, we're taking everyone's opinion on board. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm sure you will let us know for those who are not already registered as KCWM members. Uh, I am hoping that you can shed some light on how they can try to register themselves, the avenues that are in place for them to register themselves. Yes. Uh, we have um, our membership uh, coordinator who is uh, working day and night to, to make our, um, our membership register up to date. And uh, I will just add all and every Kenyan out there who is in li living in Western Australia to come out and uh, register. We have membership tiers, which is uh, uh, $20 for singles, those who do not have families. And for families, we have a registration of $30. So actually, everyone is welcome to, to register. And you can register any any time there is no uh, specific time that you are required to register and it is very easy hop on our website uh, and go into membership and choose the, the the level of membership that you want you want to belong to kcw and uh, uh, so many things that you'll find on our website so many so much information and all that so everyone is welcome to register thank you so much mr president I'm so, so glad to be a partaker of what's happening in the KCWA community and uh, um, yeah, looking forward to what's in store for all the members of KCWA. Uh, Mr. President, please allow me to, um, to let you speak to us about what's happening in the community, what we should be looking forward to and anything else that you want to tell uh, your people. Uh, I just want to to bring an update and uh, it's been a, an issue that's been ongoing and people have been asking so many questions and uh, it's about the e-passport uh, application. Mm -hmm. So uh, today I'm glad to announce that uh, we have been engaging the High Commission mm -hmm. in, uh, in Canberra and they have uh, really, really worked hard and they, 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 they have enabled us to to apply the e-passport right here in Australia. Oh. So uh, I just want to announce that as I speak right now, the application is ongoing and mm. any Kenyan living in Australia is able to, tra to, to, to travel to Canberra uh, and register and apply, apply for the passport. And it takes uh, a few steps which I will, I will uh, go through. Okay. Uh, one, it's, uh, you, you just apply on the e-citizen account. Uh, I believe every Kenyan should have that uh, account. If you do not have, it's uh, easy to, to open that account using your email and uh, ID. Mm -hmm. So you apply that and uh, you apply the uh, e-passport, you pay for it and then you forward all the, the invoice to the invoice and documents to Canberra, the High Commission in Canberra. And then from there, they will book an appointment for you and you can travel and go and complete your application. Having said that, uh, that is just because of the COVID restrictions that are in place, but we are in talks with the High Commission as well and we we, we are hoping very soon the, the government will allow the, the, the attaché to come down to us and uh, help us register and apply for that uh, e-passport. So uh, let us, uh, if, if, you are, if any member is in need of urgent passport application, please hop on to the e-citizen uh, account and apply and uh, travel to Canberra and you will be able to complete your application. Mm -hmm. Okay. As what you're saying, you need an e-citizen account, then you need to put in your details in there, 
attach it. All the documents that you use to apply should be certified and uh, then you carry them up to um, Canberra or you send them and then go with a hard copy as well. Okay, yeah. all right. Well, that's really, really good because that means we'll be able to get our passports um, ordered and organized um, uh, while here in Australia. And I think that's a plus for the community because I know of so many people that are eager to get new passports. And also because of the scary uh, feeling that sometimes you hear the old passports are being faced out and you haven't traveled to Kenya. So this is really good. And we really commend the High Commission for thinking about its people. And also hopefully with time, we should be able to get this done on the consular sort of level. Yeah. And that would be lovely. Yeah. Okay. Um, you also had mentioned to me a little bit that uh, you, you, you wanted to discuss about the issue of dual citizenship. We all know that uh, a few people, you know, in the community had renounced their citizenship. And now good news that you bring on to us is that people can actually reapply to get the dual citizenship. Do you just want to take me through that or take, take us through that so that people know what to expect and what to look out for? Yes. Uh, about the dual citizenship, the, the, before the 2010 constitution, mm -hmm. the, all, everyone who had a citizenship of another country had to renounce their Kenyan citizen, citizenship. And um, the, at, at this moment, it is free, it is, uh, it is uh, easy mm -hmm. to apply for, to reapply for your citizenship if you had renounced it. And uh, you can hope up, up to uh, the e-citizen uh, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and apply. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we've had so many questions about the e-passport in connection with the dual citizenship. So it is that you need to apply for your citizenship first before you apply for your mm -hmm. e-passport. But in case of any emergency, you want to travel urgently, you can uh, liaise with us or the High Commission in Canberra and uh, they will be able to help you uh, fast track your application. Okay. Oh, yes. that's, that's really good. So people, looks like we have to get out there and get on to our e-citizen um, platform, which sometimes they call it the gateway to all communication with the uh, government of Kenya. Let's get out there. We only need our IDs, a valid email address, and you can easily register uh, on eCitizen, get your, your, your pass, password set up, and you're good to go. That's all it takes. And I'm sure it's not more than five minutes to do. Okay. Um, what else are you wanting to share with the community? The diaspora sort of policy that you were mentioning? Do you oh, want to? Yeah. <clears throat> well, there is a, a diaspora policy that's being looked at, and um, we, we in diaspora, uh, the policy has been in place actually, mm -hmm. but it's being reviewed mm -hmm. so that it can suit our needs as the people of diaspora. So we have our representation from here in Australia and every part of the world. Uh, I believe everyone said there is a representation. And it, it is uh, good that the members of the community can engage and uh, we, we, are, we, we, are, we have posted that policy to our platforms. So if you can go to our plat uh, communication platforms and just log in and check that policy and give your views, it is good to talk about what will affect us here in diaspora. Things like um, uh, elections and uh, uh, voting and all that. So th those are the things that, we, that are being reviewed. So it is good that we go and engage ourselves with that policy, we know what to expect and what to, to tell the government that uh, mm -hmm. we need here in the diaspora. So knowledge is power. That's what I hear you Correct. saying. We need mm -hmm. to get out there. We need to read this policy. We need to be on board and then hopefully then can engage um, with those in leadership to be able to know yes. what's going to be um, rightfully for us. But then um, just for somebody that's confused and asking themselves, where am I going to get this policy? How, how can we easily access the policy? Um, is it on a, like a website or is it on um, the government, the High Commission website or where can we get that? Yes. As I, as I said, uh, yes, you can find it on the 
High, Kenya High Commission uh, website of Canberra mm -hmm. and on the uh, Kenyan community in, in Western Australia website you can find it we will post it even in our uh, telegram mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, all the platforms that we engage with so we will post there the link okay. and you are free to go and uh, click on it and uh, familiarize yourself with whatever is happening and give your views if, if you can so there we go, people. We, we do have, we need to look out for this uh, policy when it comes up onto our social platforms and also we can get it onto the website. So let's get out there, let's read, let's engage and let's uh, put out there what we want because we are the people that are living in the diaspora and we are the people that are going to benefit from this. Please, let's get out there and read. So um, as we wind up or as we near winding up, I'm told that all roads lead to one roo show ground. Tell us about that uh, so that people get excited and people look forward. Oh, thank you. I am excited myself. Uh, I'm excited. Uh, 18th of December, mm. 2021. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the day we're going to celebrate our cultural day. It's a... Uh, Cultural Day for us, uh, the KCWA, and you are inviting all the communities, all the uh, nationalities, especially the East Africa community. We are bringing all, the, all of them together and we're going to celebrate our culture, our identity. So come out and come out in, in numbers, come and celebrate your identity, come and celebrate who you are, because we have come out here and we need to, to I identify ourselves and just celebrate uh, our identity and for, don't forget that event is absolutely free and we, all the entertainment, all the dances, all, everything is free so come out in numbers. The weather is good, we've already checked with the, the weather department and everything is perfect. So all ages, mm -hmm. all children, all uh, seniors, please come out, we're going to have um, to talk about uh, uh, the things that uh, affect us and the things that where we've come from. We've ha we have our senior members, committee members, they're going to talk about where we've come from as, as a country and as Africa. So come out and uh, have fun. Oh, so I'm excited and you must be excited because there will be dance, there will be food for the food lovers. There'll be lots and lots of food, I'm yeah. told. Uh, for the children, there'll be a lot of running around, castles, are they called castles? Mm, yeah. um, there will be so much to look out for, seniors, the young, the, you know, the children. Let's all come out in large numbers when the root grounds are quite big and will be adequate for all of us. Let's come out and enjoy just hanging out with one another, learning about the community, as Mr. President has said. And also just to share and laugh and you know, and uh, enjoy ourselves. Um, anything else, Mr. President, you want to tell your people that we've left out? Uh, what I'll just say is that uh, I'm so grateful mm -hmm. to be the KCWA leader. And I am so proud of the community that I, I lead and I'm so proud of how uh, people are coming together in times of celebration, in times of need. People are coming together. People don't, they don't look at uh, this person is from whatever tribe, this person is uh, of whatever race. People are coming without discrimination and uh, I'm just loving to be the KCW president at this moment. And I just want to thank you all for participating in, our, in the activities. I want to thank my team because they are always uh, working tirelessly, we're having late night meetings and everyone is just going uh, like out, outside their way to, to, to make this uh, community great and it is so good to be part of this team. Mm. Yeah. Thank you so much. Like I said, he is a lovely person to sit down and talk with. He is a team player. He always, always, whenever he's given an opportunity to talk, always speaks about the members, the the great team that he serves with. And uh, I know KCW leadership, you are valued by your president. And uh, he only is out here to serve. And he is a servant leader. Just before we finish, 
please allow me to also let the community know that we are having another function on the 8th of January and there will also be a lot of dancing, a lot of food, a lot of fun times and we want to invite the entire KCWA you know, um, family to join uh, the Mulembe, the Mulembe nation, the sons and daughters of Mulembe will be having a function on the 8th of January from 5 p.m. to midnight, Mr. President? We're late. I got the invite. I think late. until late. And uh, the venue is... Um, Whitford's Primary School. Whitford's Primary School. So come in large numbers. Expect to have fun. And uh, let's support one another. And that's what Kenya is about. Kenya is about loving one another, holding each other's arms, and lifting one another up. Uh, any... I probably allow Mr. President to give his closing remarks. And, uh, and speak to you people and give his closing remarks. Thank you. I thought I had done the closing remarks. Thank you so much. Um, I just want to, to say that uh, the Kenyan community uh, in Western Australia, you are uh, good people. And uh, I am just uh, calling upon each and every one of us to come and join hands with uh, everyone else in the community. Let us push and pull together because without your brother, without your sister, we may find it hard to, to do things. And uh, someone says that if we walk together, we walk a very long we distance. We will yes. go far. Mm. And uh, we, we, I'm just calling upon uh, everyone to come and uh, walk with us and criticize us because we need that so that we can do better. We know we're not perfect. But tell us where we're doing better and tell us where we're doing wrong as well so that we can uh, continue serving this great community uh, as they deserve. So okay. thank you so much, and uh, uh, Dr. Ann, for having me. And I'm so good, I mean, it's so good to have you. Uh, to thank, you. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Yeah. Uh, as I close off, thank you for watching this. Um, share as much as you can. And remember from the President's closing remarks if you walk alone, you walk fast. But if you walk with others, you actually go far. Thank you very much. God bless you.